how much better is a gold item than a normal item that you can craft? Is it really worth crafting a gold tool instead of using a normal tool or a green tool? Today, we're going to show you the math and we're going to let you decide if it's better and if it's worth spending the resources to craft those higher tier items. So let's talk about it. So by the end of this video, you should be able to see how much better these blueprints can be than what you're currently using, and you can decide for yourself if you're going to use them. Right now, I'm clicking through, showing you there are no attachments. The only thing that's going to affect the amount of wood that I'm getting is going to be my talent. The stats for the green blueprint, we're going to get an extra 14% physical damage, 37% durability, and an extra 15% collection rate. For the blue one, we're going to get another 34% to the physical damage, 88% durability, and an increased 42% collection rate. For purple, you're looking at 49% extra damage, 62% extra durability, and a collection rate increase of 76%. Gold tier has a 90% increase in physical damage, a 254 increase in durability, and then a percent increase of 118% for collection rate. Just remember that it's normally 100%, so 218% is only 118% better than 100%. Remember, stats on blueprints are randomized within their tier level, so your blueprints can and will be different than my blueprints. All right, we're going to get into the testing phase now. We're going to cut down five trees, average that out, and we're going to give you all the results at the end. At the start of every segment, I'm going to show you the starting durability, then I'm going to cut down five trees, then I'm going to show you the ending durability. All right, with that being said, we're going to cut through it, and I'm going to double time it, and we're going to get all this knocked out, and then we're going to go straight into the math and the results. The grade tool starts at 290 durability, ends at 287, loses three durability, and averages 49.4 wood per tree. The green tool starts at 409 durability, ends at 405, loses four durability, averages 51.2 wood per tree. Wood tool has a max of 564, starts at 381, ends at 377, loses four with 64.4 wood average per tree. And if you're enjoying the content, guys, please consider subscribing. This content is made by a gamer for a gamer and it would really mean a lot to us as a new gaming channel. Purple starts at 486, ends at 482. It's gonna lose four durability over five trees and averaging 74.2 wood per tree. All right, on to the highest tier we had today, the gold tier. Starting at 1,251 durability, ending at 1,247. Loses four durability over the course, and it's averaging 90.2 wood per tree. So right off the back, there's a couple things that we can immediately notice. One, the fact that all of the durability per five trees is relatively the same. This means that as you get higher tier tools, it doesn't increase the resistance, it just increases the durability, which is what we expected. So between gray and green, there is no noticeable change. So there's really no good reason to spend the extra resources and make green. Blue certainly has a noticeable difference, but then purple does not have a much bigger difference than blue. Now this could be simply because we had a bad purple blueprint, but we had six purple blueprints and we chose the best one that we had, but it is still just up to luck on that. For the gold blueprint, having that 254% extra durability really keeps this tool alive longer and makes you have to repair it less because the repair fees of a gold is much higher than that of a gray. And then the collection rate, it over doubles your collection rate. So looking down the math at the actual gold blueprint, yes, the gold tool will cost more. However, 142,000 wood over its lifetime with no repairs. So you're going to cut 1,500 trees before ever needing to repair this tool. Also, this tool is going to increase your XP rates by a lot because you get XP for each item you get, not for each tree you fall, but from the individual pieces of wood from the tree. So with this tool, you're going to get a lot more wood per tree and you're going to cut trees down much faster. So yes, while this tool does cost a little over six times more to make than the basic model, you're getting double resources. So that's absolutely ridiculous. If you can get a gold auger that does 214%, you go do one iron mine, you have effectively cleared two iron mines. That is minutes you're making back in your life by doing that. So the official verdict is yes, do it. Get the gold tier tools when you're up at the steel level. So chainsaw, auger, steel tools, steel sickle, stuff like that. Do it. Get the double collection rates to get all the way up to like 235% extra with a massive amount in durability. So now just slow down. Don't go do it to the first gold chainsaw you find. Get a couple of them first and then figure out which one is the best. There is a plus and minus to it. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing and following us on that content journey. We are a new channel. We're doing our best to make content for the everyday gamer by the everyday gamer. All right, guys, thanks for watching.